Hello, good morning, and uh, welcome to this video and our first full day in Bath. Apologies if you can hear the shower, that would be Pete, because he's slower at getting ready than I am in the morning. First full day, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm just waiting for Pete. I'm currently just got the Olympics on in the TV. It's the road race. Um, so just seeing what I can see in the mornings as Japan is like eight hours in front of us, something like that. But yeah, today we are going on a walking tour and hopefully it'll give us some information and we'll get to see some things in Bath. I think we're going to try and have lunch at Sally Lunds, which is, I think it's been there since like 1680, but again, if we get in there and we go there, I can let you know more information. And then we've got um, tickets booked to go to the Roman Baths this afternoon. So it should be a good day. Um, I'm excited for it all. And obviously I will take you along. But first, I'm waiting for Pete to get his bum and gear so that we can go to for breakfast. Because I'm a bit hungry. We're British, so everybody likes the weather, but this is today. Just thunder and lightning. All day. So we may get a bit wet as well, so that might mean I can't get the camera out as much as I'm hoping to. But we'll see. share them together. Pete is, as always, taking photos of food with a hot chocolate because, you know, why not? We're on holiday. <laughs> I, I managed to hit my head even though I ducked. I, I ducked as far as I can go and I've still hit my head with it. Well done. I think Pete might be a bit tall for this. on the walking tour which is given by the Mayor's Guides. Um, we often do free walking tours in cities but this one was actually a free walking tour they wouldn't accept any tips or gratuities. Is gratuities? Gratuities. Oh, whereas often they say you know we don't get paid for this your tips blah 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 blah. So that was good. And we had a woman who was training but had been training for like six months, so... I think it's quite hard to be a mayor's guide. Yeah, she's got to pass like exams and all of this sort of stuff. She can't just rock up and do it. She's been training for a long time and she's coming close to her exam to actually be able to do it. As a volunteer, she's not being paid for it. But yeah, so we walked up, we saw lots of the sights, you know, present, the circus, etc, etc. She gave us a lot of interesting information. Yeah, she was, she was really good for a, a trainee who definitely wasn't a trainee, really. Yeah. Um, there was actually a second, there was, a, there was an actual past guide there as well, due to the pyramid. Yeah. So, I guess good. they have to be with the guide to make sure they're not saying much things. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Even he was like, quite has been doing five years, was saying he comes along as well to learn new things to put into his, you know, so he's his the, yeah, so he's, he's learning from the trainees, which is good. Um, but no, there's um, lots of good history about Georgia. So then we, as you saw, wandered over to Sally Lunn for a spot of lunch. The cinnamon bun was just a thing that I want to eat a lot of. I mean, the, the open savoury one was nice too, but the cinnamon one was still the show. I think the, the, open, the open one lacked a little bit of flavour. 
Very good. It was good. Cinnamon butter was better. Mm, the cinnamon butter was lovely. I we wandered down into the museum and the little shop. I mean, it's not really a museum. It's just a tableau. Uh, but yeah, it's massively touristy, but I'd say it's worth it. Very tasty. And now we're stalling a little bit because our time for the Roman baths hasn't quite opened yet. So we're going to be doing that in about five minutes. And I'll obviously show you the bits in there as well. Very historic day today. I'm looking forward to our bath spa tomorrow with apparently 49 degrees. But you're looking forward to that 49 degrees sounds quite, quite hot. I don't know if that's actually what you go into. But, but that's for tomorrow's video, so. Or the next video for you. <laughs> Gold football. Come on, let's get out. How does it taste, Pete? It's hot. Huh? It's hot. It didn't taste very strong. The Bahama Mama. <laughs> As you can see, we're back from dinner and have been for a little while. And I'm pretty sure this video was a bit all over the place. I thought I would come in and explain the day a bit to you because it's piggledy piggledy. You're just going to get me because Pete's watching Dragon's Den because he's obsessed. All he ever does now is watch Dragon's Den. Bollocks. <laughs> Language on my channel, please. Um, I've just been reading uh, Pride and Prejudice, because, you know, Jane Austen's from around here, so I thought I would try my first Austen. You can see my thoughts in the book review. I can't remember if these videos come out before or after that, so if it's already been published, released to the world, I'll link it up here for you. If not, it's coming soon. Anyway, back to the day. So we started the day off with the walking tour, uh, which was done by the Mayor's Guides. It's entirely free, they don't take tips or anything like that. Um, I don't know if in normal times you have to book, but we booked our spot on that. And they run at 10.30 on a Saturday morning, and I think at 2 during the week. But there's a website, so you can look that up if you're interested. I think we mentioned it, but I'll repeat it again now in case we didn't. We had a trainee guide, which if you've done these free walking tours in other cities, you'll know that the, the newbies aren't always quite as good. But actually this woman's been training for six months, so 
she's done a few walks and she knows her stuff um, and it was really interesting um, she took us largely around the centre so obviously we started at the baths and at the abbey and then made our way round up to the Royal Crescent, the Circus etc etc and ended by the bridge that we were at yesterday and if you haven't seen that video I'll also link that up here for you. She shared a lot, obviously too much information for me to just spout off to you here and I would recommend doing that tour with the Mayor's Guides. They've been running since like the 1930s or something so they, they know what they're doing, it's a reasonably slick operation. Then from there we went on to Sally Lunn's, which is, I think, supposed to be the oldest building in Bath from 1460 maybe? That can't be right because the baths are still there, but oldest eating house or something like that. I think I've shown the sign so it might make more sense there, where we had a spot of lunch. And I highly, highly, highly recommend the cinnamon butter because that stuff is amazing. We were going to buy some and then I was going to attempt to make something with it at home but it has to go in the fridge and obviously in our hotel room we don't have a fridge so it wouldn't have kept before we went home which is a bit of a shame. And then we went for our tour in the Roman Baths. Uh, you get the free audio guide which we appreciate both me and Pete as much as we like to learn information and stuff we do get f a bit fatigued if we have to read too much so the audio guide does help us out a lot it's true don't look at me like that it's true it you said it yourself uh -huh. so stop looking at me like that come back and watch Dragon's Den but yeah I liked it a lot it was interesting the bit that amazes me is that the water that comes out of that springs is like 10,000 years old because it has to have the time to sink into the earth and then come back up and it probably would have been quite a nice life to go and wallow in some baths. I forgot to add, the audio guides in the baths also had a bit from Bill Bryson where he gave his opinions and stuff on, on it and there was a part where he goes in about the god Minerva. Um, was Minerva, wasn't it? Yep. Dragon's Den wins out. But yeah, it was funny. I liked it. Uh, we then went for a wander. We went to uh, Bath on the Beach, I think it was called. It's just an outdoor sort of seating place that sells cocktails and stuff. And then we had our tapas. And now you're all caught up. So apologies if this was all over the place and I hope this little end bit has helped. And I will see you next time for another instalment from Bath and see what else we get up to. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye, Pete. See you later.